an emblem of beauty, elegance and purity, an art of time, the divinity of happiness. Gems are eternal. It was in 1905 when the seed of the giant business conglomerate was sown. Shri Keshri Malji Kothari started trading of colored gemstones from India and Rangoon. Later joined by his son, Sri Ghisilalji Kothari, the business expanded to Jaipur, Chennai, then Madras and Hong Kong. However, the destiny had something big in store for it. In 1970, KGK was invaded by a dynamic leader, Mr. Navratan Kothari, made KGK a global phenomenon. Joined by his brothers, Mr. Prakash and Vinay Kothari, KGK witnessed a phenomenal growth in the colored stone sector. Today, under their leadership, it is present in the entire chain, from sourcing to manufacturing to exporting of colored stones worldwide. The rose stones are sourced directly from the mining countries of Tanzania and Brazil, while the manufacturing is done in its factories in Thailand, India and China. Innumerable shades with innovative cuts have made KGK's colored stones a timeless possession of its consumers across the globe. Besides colored stones, KGK is a world leader in diamonds too. Led by a strong visionary, Mr. Sanjay Kothari has over the years explored and expanded the diamond business of the group. There are young people coming into the business. They're always very anxious to prove themselves, to perform, to do something new. And I was one of them. I wanted to perform. I was, you know, super, you know, excited. I love the business, I love diamonds, so that made me move forward, you know, with great passion. Later joined by an insightful leader, Mr. Sandeep Kothari, the group saw itself involved at every stage, from rough sourcing to manufacturing and from marketing to finally retailing. KGK is also a DTC site holder. KGK is servicing its clients from their doorsteps in all the major markets which are consuming diamonds. We have a huge length and breadth of inventory that we carry. We are one of the largest manufacturers in the world. Rough diamonds are directly sourced from El Rosa, South Africa, Antwerp, India and Canada. Modern machines craft each of these diamonds through an extensive and advanced process of cutting and polishing to provide the necessary finishing. Skilled assorting coupled with stringent quality measures assure that each diamond retains its elegance and purity. Under the able leadership of Mr. Prashant and Vinamra Kothari, today the group has its diamond manufacturing units in India, South Africa, Russia and China, which has assured that its worldwide consumers continue to get enthralled incessantly. Innovation drives the world and enterprise commands respect. With the state-of-art facilities and innovative technologies, manufacturing high-end jewelry is KGK's forte. Under the leadership of Mr. Sanjay Kothari, KGK is an established name in jewelry manufacturing sector. 
with its jewelry manufacturing units located in Mumbai and Jaipur in India and Pan New City in China and Hong Kong. The group exports studded jewelry to US, Europe, Japan, Dubai, Australia and South Africa. KGK is a one-stop destination for varied consumers worldwide. Jewelry business needs much more professionalism because it's a detailed business from the trading of stones to the manufacturing of stones to the manufacturing of jewelry. It teaches you a lot. You know, it's, it's a much more detailed business. Gems glitter, design allures. An ideal blend of both of these withstands time and is a fine art. Mrs. Manju Kothari is the lead artist behind making Entice, the retail brand of KGK, a prestigious name in China, India, UAE and Hong Kong, along with the other parts of the world in terms of quality and design. Entice, you know, naturally means attraction. We have the best of designers, you know, some Italian designers were there also working for us and of course predominantly the Chinese designers in Hong Kong. It is very important to be global and in today's choppy times, if we're not global, you cannot expand your business. KGK is a multicultural organization. We have various nationalities working in this organization. We have Japanese, Chinese, Africans, Russians, Americans all working towards a common goal. Standing tall with a legacy of over 100 years now, KGK is a prestigious name in more than four continents with its marketing and admin offices in Hong Kong, Taiwan, Thailand, China, Russia, UAE, Israel, South Africa, Belgium, USA, Japan, and India. Expansion challenges limits. In entertainment paradise, Jaipur first experienced the joy of a multiplex alongside marking KGK's worthy presence in the real estate sector. KGK's firsts into real estate have been hugely applauded. Under the next generation leader in Mr. Siddhant Kothari, the group is scaling new heights talking of passion towards one more vertical in our life. And I would say that vertical, that expansion, that passion is more due to Jal Mahal. History hasn't recorded its birth and time languished it. For KGK, it was witnessing a rich legacy perishing into oblivion. Challenges stared, vision clear, to gift back to the city of jewels its most prized crown, the Jal Mahal. Six years of relentless efforts by experts to restore the lost glory, Jal Mahal in 2012, promises of an upcoming one-stop tourist destination with a tinge of culture and luxury. With its picturesque location and unblinking sight, Jal Mahal has rediscovered itself and with it the definition of paradise. Commitment to not only unremitting jewels and restoring heritage, but to humanity as a whole is the building block of KGK Group. The Bhagwan Mahavir Cancer Hospital and Research Center in Jaipur one of its kind in northern India has been an enormous relief for cancer patients. As a family, 
we believe in giving back to the society. We are running a healthcare organization, which is a single specialty cancer hospital, having over 250 beds, and close to 25% of all patients that come into the hospital are treated free of charge. And the rest are also majority from the lower strata of the society. And over here, they get treated at a subsidized rate. Illness might take on body, but have no place in the eyes of innocent children who suffer from rare diseases. Realizing this, Anila Kothari, with the help of international NGO, has taken a life-changing initiative for such children, aged between 3 to 18, in the form of Make-A-Wish Foundation. Society without education can't be self-dependent. Subodh Shiksha Samiti has been imparting education to students since 1918. Sparkling eyes brimming with happiness is a treasure at KGK. We have been gifted with one more thing you know, by God that is of earning and of giving as well. And that's where CSR comes becomes very important for us. The KGK Trust runs a cancer hospital, which again, you know, it was a dream of Mr. Northern Kothari. Time thrives, not on years, but on generations. Standing at a transitory juncture, KGK is ready to pass on the baton to next generation leader, Mr. Siddhant Kothari, in whom it sees a future leader of great stature. What happens when opportunities are built? Challenges succumb to will. Vision leads to innovation and quantity meets quality. A legacy is born and this withstands the peril of time. There is ample of opportunity for KGK to grow its business. How much? It's time to tell. But I believe that we will grow and uh, we will definitely grow with flying colors. For KGK, it has been just 105 years of legacy. <laughs>